right here we're going to add just one in each one of the spaces that's all we're going to do right here I just in the turn remember so the one is going to be next is the black one Right here is the last bead of the turn. We pass the orange, we put the needle through the silver one, and through the black one too. Just like that. So right here, we're going to pick up the clear one. Pass the needle through the two of the orange ones, or whatever color you're using, just like so, without adding any bits. Looks like in this turn we're just going to add the silver one. The battery is about to die on me, so hopefully I can finish this turn. right here in that empty space, alright? 
who pass the needle through two of the orange like that one more time we pick up the clear one and we're gonna pass the needle through the black one through the clear one like that this is the last one of the clear C bit so we pass the needle through the black and then through the clear one too like so but the orange is we have to right here so we're going to need one more we're going to make the loop again let me see from left to right like this and from right to left like so now we're going to put in one of the next color which is the black one like that one more of the orange ones we made the loop one more time sorry I'm getting out of focus I'm sorry for that Remember this loop is always from left to right and from right to left. Passing the needle through the one you just put it in and the next one. Whatever color you guys choosing. In my case is the clear one. left to right right to left Right here is the last one, so we're going to pass the needle through the clear and then through the orange one. Like so. I'm going to change my thread. I'll be right back. Now we're going to continue. Like I was saying, we're just going to put it in the silver one all the way around I'm gonna pull it but not that much because remember it might become out so I'm going to be careful about that
thank goodness this needle have a kind of little bit big guy so it's bit easy for me to do that alright so I'm supposed to pick up this one and pass the needle through the orange just like that have to make sure the tail is not going to come out this time so I can pull my work tight so right here we're going to put the last one of the churn alright so what we're going to do we're going to pass the needle through however we can just like that see all right Right here looks like it's going to be like that. We pick up one of the black ones and we're going to pass the needle through that two of the clear one. Just like that. That's all we're going to do all the way around. Right here was the last one, so we're going to pass the needle through the two clear and then through the black one too. You pass the needle through the clear one and then through the black one. That's it. Well, anyway, doesn't matter how many mistakes I make as long as you guys follow the pattern. If you can understand me, how I explain it to you, you will be cool. One more black one. Pass the needle from left. From left to right first and then from right to left. Like this. One more. Just like that. Press the needle back to this one and to the next one. Just like that. we pick up one more of the black ones and try to get the best beaks in this pile and they are all have different sizes here
my pants. One more. Pass the needle from left to right. And from right to left. One at a time, just like that. And now we're going to tie it up. So pass the needle through a couple of other beads, just like that. Just like that. Sorry, I'm hitting everything again. So, go through all the beads, all the black beads, and other beads that you can go through it. So you can make your work really, really tight, okay? right here like you guys can see that's the end we already pass the needle right here through this one escaping one pass the needle through the next one escape this one pass the needle through this one so like that that's all you do around like this and now i can pass a couple of more beads and then cut it see right here we escape this, we pass the needle through this one and through this one. We escape this one, we pass the needle through this one. Like this. We escape this one, we pass the needle through this one. We escape this one, we pass the needle through this one. And so on until your work is secure. Then you cut the thread. Well, it's going to look like something like that, all right? So hopefully you guys like it. Now I'm going to put this one into the hole and make sure it is straight down by doing this. Move it around, make sure it is straight down. Put it like that. Put it down. See, right here comes out that means it's okay already then so now we're gonna cut the ends just like that because remember we already passed the needle through a couple of beads so it's secure already it's very secure so we can cut it however we can you know so you bead is going to look something like that mine looks like a little bit flat this one because i think this bead comes out depends on how is the form of the bead inside see look at mine look like a pumpkin or something look at that it looks like that i think it looks beautiful even so i make so many mistakes i think it looks beautiful 
Look. Looks like that. You want to check it out. So, there you have it. This is the one I just made. And this one is the other one that I made. This one is bigger than this one. And when that happened, the beads at the other end come out this kind of open right here. This one is kind of very close if you compare with that. This bead was bigger. So, this way they didn't come out that close like this one. So, anyway, look. This one looks nice. This one looks nice. So, like I said, depends on how nice you do your work, obviously, that's the way it's gonna come out. Exactly is what I learned. And this is what I learned. Obviously, like you see, not that much. But I just like to show you guys the little bit that I learned, all right? Well, thank you very much for watching my videos. And would you please not forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that so much.